Kids are wonderful because they're honest and they're really connected in the moment and in the world. And that's the way animals are too. And that's what makes relationships between animals and kids so fun to study. There's many different ways that kids connect with animals. Um, but one of the basic things is that animals are just interesting. They are very visually appealing, they're really dynamic, they have unique personalities, and so that allows for different kids to connect with different types of animals in different ways. With pets in particular, they're often a source of emotional support for them. And one of the reasons for this is that they are non-judgmental. So they're not going to judge you for making a bad decision. They're always going to sort of be there for that that's type of emotional support, which can be really important for kids. I've had people ask me all the time, why do we need to do research on whether pets are good for us? We already know that pets are good for us. And that's actually simply not the case. We don't know that pets are good for us. In fact, the research has shown they are not universally beneficial for us. And it's really important to know about these relationships because over two thirds of the country has at least one pet in the home. That means that animals are a really important component of public health and because they play such a prominent role in our family lives, it's really important to understand the health effects of these relationships and then also the effects on the animals.